much money do day traders make? Is trading a real career or just a get-rich-quick scheme? In this video, I'm going to be answering all of the above questions and tell you exactly how much money I make as a full-time day trader in 2021. Both the returns in percentage of account capital as well as my actual broker statements. And I'm just going to be honest with you here. I'm a little bit nervous making this video because um, the, the tax man is probably watching. Just kidding, just kidding. It's because I don't want my parents to see this video and demand an even bigger Chinese New Year red envelope. Seriously, this is a very real concern. The amount of money in the red envelope or the red pocket has to increase every single year or else I'll be failing my parents, my grandparents, and uh, all my ancestors from the Qin dynasty. Okay, seriously, all jokes aside, I'm a little bit nervous making this video about my day trading profits. Because if you've seen any day trading videos at all on YouTube, then you've probably seen some very outrageous and some very exaggerated videos calling day trading easy, how it's a piece of cake, how you can, you know, turn a thousand dollars into five thousand dollars in your underwear in five minutes. And that just couldn't be further from the truth. I will tell you firsthand that I had to lose a lot of money when I first started as a beginner day trader. For the first year or two, these were some very expensive lessons. But looking back now, they were very important tuition I had to pay to the stock market in order to get to where I am now today. And this video is not meant to brag or show off my profits, but rather to present to you and perhaps many of you who are brand new to the market, a realistic, no bull view of what it really takes to become consistently profitable day trading. Like I said before, I had to lose for a long time. In fact, it's very normal for a beginner day trader to be losing for the first year in order to get to the result I have today. So if you appreciate the full transparency here, please do me a huge favor by clicking the like button at the bottom of the video. That will help ease a lot of my nerves making this video in order also show me that you as a viewer support this kind of honest content when it comes to day trading in the stock market. Thank you so much in advance and without further ado, let me share with you how much I've made so far day trading in 2021. Let's start with a portfolio return in percentage because I know many of my longtime subscribers here, they care more about the percentage than the actual P&Ls in number. And I definitely want to respect your wishes. Like I preach all the time on this channel, everyone's wins and losses are relative to their very own account size in day trading. If you're making $100 a day consistently day trading with a $5,000 account, that's amazing. But for someone else who's using 10 or 100 times your share sizes and making a couple thousand dollars per day, that $100 may not even cover their commissions. And their big win would be maybe five figures or six figures. But at the same time, their normal losses will be 10, 20 times bigger than yours as well. The point I'm trying to make here is don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. Everyone's big wins and losses losses are relative to their account size and uh, of course the capital. Hopefully you understand that and this is the reason we're starting out with percentage return first. I have three trading accounts I use in total. One is a brand new one I opened in February. So in January, I grew the smallest of my trading accounts by 24.42%. And when I say those percentage returns, the number is net of all fees, locates, commissions, or any any broker and platform fees. For my second account, the return was 34.18%. Now moving on to February, my first trading account is actually negative. I lost about negative 8.45%. But my second account, being the bigger account, grew by 73.46%. And like I mentioned earlier, in February, I opened a brand new trading account for the purpose of swing trading. And I grew this third account by 18.05%. So I definitely understand why people care more about the percentage return on capital instead of the actual P&L numbers. 
again, everyone trades different account sizes. A trader trading a $1,000 account, making $500 in a month, would be the same 50% return as another trader who makes $50,000 on a $100,000 account. So I get that perspective. But I want to make it clear that when I talk about percentage returns from trading accounts, by no means am I saying I go all in with my entire account on every single trade every single day. In fact, I strongly recommend against doing that. Even though I have three trading accounts, most days I just use my one main day trading broker, Cobra Trading. This one being the second account I mentioned uh, in both January and February. And I only open up my first and the third uh, trading broker account when there's specific setups and opportunities in the market. And most times overnight, I'm all cash with no positions open at all. That's just the nature of day trading. Now compared to my trading account, my long-term investing portfolio is down like 10% year to date so far in 2021. And that's just from being in the market at all times. Again, day trading and investing are completely different and they should not be mixed together at all. Day trading is a business for short-term gains. Investing is for long-term valuation and retirement and uh, perhaps to pay for my future alimony. Okay, so now that we got the percentage growth of my trading capital down, let's take a look at my actual broker statement. Because after all, sure, growing 30% percent in return in one month sounds great and all but if my trading account is only one thousand dollars i can't really live on three hundred dollars a month i mean i live in vancouver one of the most expensive cities to live in in north america where a closet in downtown costs a thousand five hundred dollars a month to rent now before i show you my actual broker statement i want to make this very clear i do not do any sorts of live streaming, whether it's on YouTube or any other platforms. I do not screen share. I do not issue alerts to buy or sell to thousands of followers on social media or in my very own trading community. In fact, if you've been a longtime viewer of this channel, you would probably know why copy trading or buy and sell alerts are something I'm very strongly against. My point here is, yes, I would still be able to make the profit I do from day trading even if I was completely alone and I have zero followers anywhere. There are some very good reasons for me to clarify that and I'm sure the more experienced traders watching this video would understand. If you're brand new to the market and nothing I just said make any sense and you're scratching your head like what the fuck is this chick saying? Then you'll find out one day or just read through some of the comments below. Okay, now with all the disclaimers aside, let's finally take a look at my broker's statements. If you prefer to skip this part, you can go to this timestamp below. Mom, if you're watching this, and my future husband too, if you're watching this video, you both should definitely skip this part. Let's take a look at my first trading account at Centerpoint Securities. This is not my main day trading account anymore. In fact, this is a smallest trading account in terms of my trading capital. So at my center point account here, you can see uh, if we go to reports and then go to statement and then if you go to January 2021, uh, total realize is 14598 uh, but after fees and uh, these are locate fees. So the net would be $12,588.30 for this account. Okay, now let's move on to the second account, which is my main brokerage for day trading at Cobra Trading. And I'm not going to lie, their monthly statements are very difficult to read. So bear with me here as I explain how to read this broker statement. And if you watched this video so far and you still haven't liked the video yet, come on! what are you doing please give your girl here some support for spilling the tea this is all real day trading broker statements right here a month of january 2021 uh, if you scroll down 
So here, over here, you'll be the opening balance of $134,545 and the closing balance of $130,545,000. Now, before you start getting angry at me and yell, Oh my God, Humble Trader, you actually lost money instead of making 34.18% like you said earlier. You are a liar. I knew day trading was a scam. Okay, calm down. I wired out some money in the middle of January 2021. So if you start scrolling with me, you'll see that um, you know all the buy and sell transactions, buying, shorting, covering transactions. Uh, if we continue bearing with me, scrolling down here, uh, almost, almost there. Uh, you can see there's no deposits, uh, but if we look for the middle of January somewhere over here disbursement so this is taking money out of the account so you'll see here on january 13 2021 a fifty thousand dollars disbursement wire wire out of my trading account and uh into my mother's red envelope just kidding not all of it just just a little bit or like most of it. And you can see as we continue scrolling down from the January 13 disbursement here, um, there's no additional deposits. So if we just keep on scrolling, just bear with me. We're almost at the bottom and then we'll go to February statement. Scrolling, scrolling, almost done, almost done. <laughs> Gotta play some uh, elevator music here. Are we there yet? Uh, yeah. Anyways, we're almost there, I swear. We're like so close to the bottom. Okay, 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 I think we're there. All right, so you'll see the closing balance um, on the month is $130,545. So if you take the closing balance of the account at the end of January and add the $50,000 wired out and subtract the starting balance of $134,555, they'll give you a total net profit of $45,993.94 on this account. And to be honest, I really underperformed this month in January 2021. I had some really big losses in the middle of the month that I'm not really happy about and I was dealing with some stress in my personal life that was very negatively affecting my trading performance in the market. Like I've always mentioned on this channel, trading requires not just financial capital but also mental capital as well. So the total January net profit comes to $58,582.24 for the two trading accounts. Accounts. Now going over to my center point account for February, if you go to statement and then you go to February 2021, you'll see that it's a total loss of um, $3,895.25 for this account. Now this time around, the Cobra trading account is finally more straightforward because I had no withdrawals and no deposits. So you can see this is the closing balance over here and the starting balance. Um, so if you keep on scrolling, again, we have to scroll to the very end here to see there's no uh, you know, additional deposit and no, um, um, the, the, there's no deposits and no withdrawals. Keep on scrolling all the way to the bottom. We're almost there, I swear. We're almost at the very bottom. This is what happens when you trade a lot. Your statements are like a toilet paper, like a whole scroll of toilet paper, like super long. And we're still only at February 18th. We have like two more weeks to go, I'm, I swear. We're almost there. Uh, almost at the bottom, we're so close. You can see there's no deposits and no um, wire out. And you can see the closing balance is uh, $226,444. So for this trading account, my main brokerage account, that gives us a total of $95,898.62 profit. In the beginning of February, it's also when I opened a third trading account at Interactive Brokers, specifically for the purpose of going long on the uh, Wall Street bet stocks, such as GameStop and AMC and many, many others both for day trading as well as swing trading on the long side. So you can see in February, that's when I made a deposit um, to fund the account in February 5th. And let's see the net asset value on the account. Um, closing at the end of February is uh, 
$352,991.54. So that's a profit of, somebody do the math for me, a little bit over $50,000. So for February 2021, that brings us to a total profit of around $146,000. I don't have the official broker statements for March so far because they don't come out until like early April and it's only at the end of March right now. But this is how I'm doing so far on my TraderView account. And I'm sure there will be people questioning the legitimacy of all of these brokers. I just want to stress that all the brokers I use, Cobra Trading, Centerpoint, and Interactive Brokers, they are all based in the United States, and they are all members of FINRA and SIPC. And also, if they were paper trading accounts, you would not be able to see these funding or cash receipts on the actual broker statements. Like I said in a lot of my past videos, I definitely have a lot of reservations from posting my statements or trading P&Ls. It's really a personal information and whether you or I or anyone else online should share their trading performance, it's really nobody else's decision but their own. But for me personally, I want to make sure if and when I do share my broker statement, I'm not just showing the good, but also showing the bad and the ugly and explaining all the work and all the losses that's been involved as well to get to where I am today. Which is why I started this video in the beginning the way I did. I never want to come across as if I'm bragging or being very cocky about my trading profits. Because let's be real, I know plenty of day traders who make two, three, or 10 times more than me, and I find them extremely inspiring. And I'm sure I'll get there one day as well at my own pace. But no, I'm not going to just YOLO and add a zero to all my share sizes. Like I said earlier, we should never compare our chapter one or chapter 10 to someone else's chapter 20. What the real and important key takeaway is that day trading could indeed become a very profitable career for the long run. If you can wake up, stop trying to find shortcuts such as falling chatroom alerts, copy trading, or any any other sort of get rich quick scheme. In fact, learn to plan for your own trades, collect screen time, and accept that you are going to have to pay market tuition in order to learn. People often overestimate how much they could do in six months, but underestimate what they could achieve in one or two years. When I opened my first trading account in late 2014, I never would have thought I'd be able to make consistent profits like like this. Again, am I making the most money from day trading out there? No, definitely not. But this is more than enough for me. And even if I stop doing YouTube today and stop running my own day trading community, I'd still be able to make a very comfortable living from day trading. What you saw today in the video is the result six years later. But what you do not see are all the late nights I pulled studying, charting, journaling my trades. And of course, also I'm um, going to the office, going to work late, dozing off at the computer at work, and uh, uh, also getting ghosted by all the boys who didn't want to talk to me because I was too boring, or I don't dress fancy enough, or enough makeup, or uh, I couldn't go to Coachella or EDC VIP like all the other LA girls. Well, guess what? After learning how to day trade, now I could afford all the VIP tickets I want. Yet I still haven't even gone once. Like, I'm, I'm serious, I haven't even gone VIP once at all to anything. <laughs> all I really need nowadays is to be able to go to a Japanese ramen restaurant, and when the server asks me if I want extra chashu pork for $4, I want to be able to just say, hell yeah, without a second of hesitation. To me, this is a definition of a good and happy life. If you enjoyed this video so far, please make sure to drop a like at the bottom of the video. I'd really appreciate it. If you want to find more day trading education videos, both free and premium, you can find them in the links below. I'm the Humboldt Trader. Thank you guys so much for watching as always, and I'll see you guys next time.